there's three keys to this whole deal. Number one, you got to embrace the numbers. You need to understand and embrace the numbers. Every business is in the numbers business. Every business. But here's the problem with humans. As humans, we have a tendency to want to do the least amount of work and get the most amount of results. Yes? Yeah. How many people every day line up to buy lottery tickets? People want to do the least amount of work and get the most amount of pay. That's the era that we live in. Okay? Most of us operate that way. So here's the truth. If you're not embracing the numbers in business, then what are you trying to do? You're trying to get lucky. And man, how can you build anything on lucky? How can you say, I want to build a legacy for my kids based on luck. I want to build a business on luck. I want to be successful based on luck. That's not a strategy. Hope is not a strategy. Getting lucky is not a strategy. So if you're not running the numbers, then you're subconsciously telling yourself you're just hoping to get lucky. There's a formula to success and it means embracing the numbers. The second thing I want you to write down is we got to fall in love with the opportunity as your platform. You got to fall in love with the opportunity as your platform. This business, entrepreneurship for me, is my platform to design my life. If I gave you a white sheet of paper and a pen, and I said, Sally, I'm going to let you design your life. And you're not coming out of this room until you and your daughter have designed your life. She'd come out in 15 minutes. I say, go back in there. Spend more time. We just want to, we're just simple people. We just, we just want a house and a little piece of land and that a couple goats. <coughs> right? Goats. <laughs> no? A couple horses. Oh, you're goats. Wow, oh, we have the whole farm. I've got a petting zoo. <laughs> Sally Storch, petting zoo, right? <clears throat> because most people don't dream. Most people have no idea what they're doing. I'll be, I'm, I've always been clear. This business for me is my platform to live the life that I want to live. It just so happens that it's noble and it's a great cause and it's high paying and it's residual. And we got the best leaders in the whole freaking deal. Okay? But... Every single day, I, 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 I find another reason to re-fall in love with this business. It's like being married. You'll either find a reason to stay together or you'll find a reason to fall apart. You're either going to find a reason to stick with your business or you're going to find an excuse to bail out. And that's the truth. Because the grass is always greener where you water it. It's always greener where you water it. And I submitted to the, to the idea that this is my shot. This is my shot. I think it's in Think and Grow Rich. I can't, I can't remember the book I read it in. The average human being gets two, presented with, on average, two opportunities in their lifetime that could change their entire life. On average, it's two. Some more, some none. On average, it's two of us, two opportunities in our whole lifetime that could completely shift the course of our life. I wasn't sure if this was my first or my last, but I didn't want to miss it. So in order for me to stay married to my business, I have to continuously remind myself, A, why we got married, <laughs> why I'm here, and why I have the best partner in the world, my business. And instead of looking around all the time at all this other crap, all this shiny crap that's distracting us, I just, put, I just put my eyes 100% focused on my business, which is my, my wife in this scenario. And I just fall more in love with it every single day. Are there hard days? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some tough days. But it's like anything. You have three kids, there's three opportunities for illness. Three opportunities for setbacks. Three opportunities for heartbreak. But there's also three opportunities for amazing memories. Lifelong memories. And that's like this business. And the third thing I want you to write down is taking immediate massive action. I mean, we complain about the government all the time and we love to complain about taxation. You know what, guys? Deep down, that's a bunch of BS because there's something worse than taxation. It's called procrastination. And I'm just going to throw this out there. If you don't do this now, when are you going to do it? Like, if you don't build your business right now, what are you waiting for? 
What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for entrepreneur, the, the business opportunity to get better? It might get better, but you know what? You get a year older and your kids get older. And every year that you get older, you're closer to getting sick. You're closer to it being the end. And at some point, something's going to happen, Jimmy, where you can't physically do the business anymore. And I, I'll pray for you that that's 40 years from now. I'm just not sure when that time's coming for me. So I can choose to wake up every morning and buy my own BS and make excuses and blame this and blame that and look around and all oh, the timing's not right. And, and, and just have, as soon as, as soon as, oh man, as soon as, watch out for me. As soon as I get this thing, as soon as I move, watch out for me. As soon as my kid gets out of the hospital, hey, I'm going to light things up, man. You watch out for this guy. He's going to be on fire. As soon as we get to the end of the year, as soon as I clear up my job, as soon as I get my spouse on board, as soon as I get licensed, as soon as, as soon as, as soon as. And most people spend their whole time just, I should have, I should have. Most people are shooting all over themselves. Should have done this. Should have done that. Should have done this. Should have done that. So the best time to do it is now. And you just can't overthink it. If you think you're in the right place with the right people in the right time and, 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 and you're moving forward and you want to be around, this is your tribe and you want to fight hard and you want to help families, you want to build something here and you want leadership from, from leaders like this and leaders like me while we're still around, now's the time. It's not going to look like this forever. And if we can build a business together and we can make really, really good money doing it and we can become better people along the way, don't you think that we can make an impact? Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you think that we could do great things together and we could invest in, 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 in progressive ways of thinking, maybe overseas, and helping other people and giving it back? Like, what could we do together? If we can build this thing together, what else could we do together? Make a huge impact. I'm talking about a huge worldwide impact. But I wasn't going to do that on my job. I wasn't going to do that in that environment. I wasn't going to do that without leadership. I wasn't going to do that without a tribe. And we got all that here. So it's, it's going to get tough. It's supposed to get tough. But you got to pull up your pants sometimes. And you got to look at yourself in the mirror and go, like, if I don't do this, and who the hell is going to do this for me? So we got 17 days left in this month. The question is, what are we going to do with those days? Right? We, gotta, we have to max this thing out, you guys. We got Christmas coming around the corner. So take that with you guys. Let's finish strong. And uh, let's have an awesome week next week. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome night. <laughs>